This video is a quick look at Twigs, an alternate firmware from Mutable Instruments branches. Twigs consists of two modes, Factor and Swing, that can be assigned to either or both of the branches channels. Factor is a voltage controlled clock multiplier and divider, and Swing is a voltage controlled musical swing effect. Before we demonstrate the modes, I want to point out an important difference between Twigs and branches. Unlike branches, Twigs doesn't have one input per channel. Twigs has one shared clock input here and one shared reset input here. Let's demonstrate the factor mode. Here we have factor mode active in the bottom channel. In factor mode, the knob controls what factor is applied to the input. As you turn to the left, you get multiplications, and the output strikes faster than the rate of the input. To the right, you get divisions, where the output strikes at a slower rate than the input. And when the knob is facing midnight, the input is the same as the output, and the effect is bypassed. The factor ranges from multiplied by 8 on the left side to divided by 8 on the right side, including odd numbers. The P input is for voltage control of the factor. It works on the same scale as the knob. You can now hear that the modulator I've connected is controlling the factor. While dividing, the channel's button works as a manual reset. Tapping it causes the next input to trigger an output strike, and the counter to the next strike starts over. The reset input allows you to do the same thing with triggers. Here I'm feeding slow, irregular triggers to the reset input, and it's causing twigs to output at irregular intervals. Next, I'll demonstrate the swing mode. In order to change the bottom channel from factor to swing, I hold down the bottom channel button for a couple of seconds. The bottom channel is now in swing mode. In swing mode, the knob controls the swing amount and can be adjusted from 50% swing to 70% swing. At 50%, the output is the same as the input and swing is effectively bypassed. As you turn up the knob, the swing amount increases towards 70%. What's actually happening is that every other output strike is being delayed by an amount relative to the knob. Same as in factor mode, swing can be voltage controlled by connecting a modulator to the P input. The manual reset and reset inputs also work for swing. The reset causes the counter to start over on the non-swing strike. Here I've again connected a slow irregular trigger to the reset input. As you can hear, it causes the swing strike to happen at irregular intervals.